Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. In, a, in assignment three, the question was an UAV has a weight seven five double zero newton and lift to drag ratio is thirteen, wing span is fifteen meter and mean aerodynamic chord of one meter. It is flying at a speed of thirty five meter per second at mean sea level. The lift coefficient at cruise will be. So this is very straight forward answer. The weight is given. A lady in Newton, so you need no need to calculate, no need to convert. L by D is given thirteen. B is given fifteen. C bar is given one, and uh, V infinity is given thirty-five meter per second. So at mean sea level, rho will be the 1.2256, and wing you can take rectangular. So using this lift equal to weight, which is half rho v, half rho v square s into C L. So C L will be 2 w divided by rho v square s. So you can put this value seven five double zero divided by one point two two five six into v is thirty five whole square. What will be the area b into c bar? So b into c bar is fifteen into fifteen into one. So your c l will be zero point six six six. This will be the CL. And in second question, you have to find the value of CD. So you found out that CL is 0.666, and you given the lift to drag ratio. So lift to drag ratio is given the 13. This is nothing but CL by CD, which is 13. So CD will be CL by 13. So what is CL? 0.66 divided by 13. So CD will comes out 0.512. This will be the CD value. 0.0.512. 0.0512. This will be the CD value. And the third question, you have to find the value of Thrust required. So you know that the aircraft is cruising. So if the aircraft is cruising, so the thrust is balanced by the drag. At that time, it will be the thrust required, and lift equal to weight. This is equation one, and you can equation two. If you manipulate using, uh, if you manipulate. Equation one and two, you will get thrust required will be the W divided by L by D. So W is given seven five double zero. L by D is thirteen. So your answer will be five seventy seven point two eight, which is in Newton. Five seventy seven. So this will be the your thrust required. Again, you have to in fourth question you have to find the power required. So power required is nothing but thrust required into velocity. So thrust required already you know. Power required you can write thrust required into v infinity. So thrust required you got five seventy seven point two eight velocity. We already gave you. 
थर्टी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड विच विल बी दी पॉइंट टू जीरो फोर एट टू विल बी इन वाट विच विल इन किलो वाट सो दिस इज योर आंसर ऑफ द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन एंड इन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इट्स यू हैव टू यूज सम ट्रिक इफ यू क्लियर द मीनिंग इफ यू नो द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सपर्ट रेशियो एंड डिफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सपर्ट रेशियो देन यू विल गेट द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन वॉज कीपिंग ऑल पैरामीटर कॉन्स्टेंट हाउ द विंग स्पेन बी इज रिलेटेड डू द इंड्यूज रेक सो सपोज दैट इफ यू फिक्स ऑल द पैरामीटर स्पीड इज फिक्स वेट इज फिक्स यू आर पर्टिकुलर यू आर फ्लाइंग एट ए कॉन्स्टेंट एल्टीट्यूड मीन्स रो इज फिक्स योर मीन एडोनमिक कॉड इज नॉट नॉट चेंजिंग एट ऑल देन वाट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑफ द इंड्यूज रेक वेन यू इंक्रीज द स्पैन लाइक ग्लाइडर हैज ए लार्जर स्पैन कंपेयर टू द दिस ट्रेनर टाइप ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट लाइक हंसास इतना सो दिस विल गिव द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दैट दिस क्वेश्चन सो बेसिकली इन दू कैन राइट ड्रैग इज वॉट हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर एस इन टू सी डी इफ इट इंड्यूस यू पुट आई दिस इज इंड्यूस ड्रैग एंड फ्रॉम द ड्रैग पोलर यू नो दैट सी डी इज सी डी नॉट प्लस के सी एल स्क्वायर सो दिस इज पैरा साइड ड्रैक ऑप्शन एंड दिस इज अ इंड्यूज ड्रैक ऑप्शन सो इंड्यूज ड्रैक ऑप्शन इज लिफ्ट डिपेंडेंट ड्रैक एंड दिस इज पैरा पैरा साइड ड्रैक ऑप्शन मीन्स इट विल नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन द लिफ्ट सो दिस विल बी द इंड्यूज ड्रैक ऑप्शन सो बेसिकली दिस इज सी डी आई सो यू कैन पुट दिस सी डी आई इन ए क्वेश्चन वन यू विल गेट हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर एस एंड सी डी आई विल बी के सी एल स्क्वायर दिस विल बी दो थिंग्स सो हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर एस सी एल स्क्वायर एंड के इज वॉट वन अपॉन पाई इन टू ई इन टू एसपेर रेशो पाई इन टू इन टू एसपेर रेशो हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर एस सी एल स्क्वायर वन अपॉन पाई ई एसपेर रेशो इज बी स्क्वायर बाई एस this equation you can write this equation di is half rho v square s cl square this will s will go up s divided by pi e so this param uh, again we mentioned that the all parameter is constant you just to bring this equation in in span ki how the induced drag is related to the span so this parameter is constant you can consider this is a only a by b square you can consider this a by b square here you can do one mistake that you can aspect ratio if you put b by c bar then then your answer will be the different so this as per ratio b by c bar is valid for the rectangular wing not the all case so di is 1 by b square so you can see that ki if you increase the three times means if your if your weight is increasing three times so basically if you incre increase the weight of the three times then what will be the cl so first one the weight is w you can say half rho v square s into cl1 so this is lift coefficient when the weight was w you increase three time three times means 3w1 half rho v square s into cl2 so 
if you divide this two equation you will get cl 2 by cl 1 is 3 ठीक है दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द सिक्स क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन द आंसर इन डेट ड्रेग इज द यूनिफर्सिटी प्रोफेशनल टू द बी स्क्वायर स्पैन ऑफ द थिंग्स ओके दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द सिक्स क्वेश्चन सो इन द सिक्स क्वेश्चन इफ यू सपोज दैट योर वेट इज वॉज डब्ल्यू वन एंड यू इंक्रीज द वेट थ्री टाइम्स so 3w1 will be the half rho v square into cl2 so cl if you divide this equation then cl2 by cl1 will be the 3 okay so you know that ki drag formula is here induced drag is half rho v square into cdi cdi you can put kcl square if you divide these two equation in terms of cdi1 when you pull 1 you will you have to put 1 here if you ci, CI2 then CL2. So basically, if you divide this equation, you will get DI2 DI1 equal to CL2 by CL1 square because CDI is KCL square. And all the parameters constant, so if you divide, then you will get CL2 by CL1 whole square. And we have given that ki weight is increased by three times, then you will you can get the CL2 by CL1 using this. You can put these things into this, you will get three square will be the nine. So your in induced drag will be the nine times of the previous one if you increase the weight three times. So basically, this is the effect of the weight when you not changing any other parameter. So this is the sixth answer of sixth question. The seventh question was at the STD and state level flight, will be, what will be the flight path angle? You have three things here. You have chord line, you have velocity vector, and you have horizon. So you can suppose that this is a horizon, and this is your velocity vector. This is your V vector. This is the surface which is parallel to the earth and this is chord line. So I'll, already I told you the angle of attack between chord line and free stream velocity is the angle of attack alpha and uh, angle between chord line and horizon will be the pitch angle and angle of attack between the velocity vector and horizon will be the flight path angle. So using this you can say that ki okay if you add alpha plus theta you will get theta alpha plus gamma you will get theta. So theta will, will be the alpha plus gamma. So if you are cruising at a string and state level flight this means your this this two line velocity vector line and horizontal vector line will coincide this means that your theta will be the angle of attack so alpha equal to alpha plus gamma then gamma equal to zero and for eighth question The question was a rectangular gun with elliptical lift distribution span of 10 meter and chord length of 1 meter is constructed with the airfoil having the lift curve slope of 0.1 per degree. What will be the total lift curve slope of the wing? So basically you have to convert this thing from 2D to 3D. So we have the information span is 10 meter, chord length is 1 meter, CL alpha lift curve slope of 2D 
इस ज़ीरो पॉइंट वन पर डिग्री यू हैव टू फाइंड द सी एल एल्फा ऑफ थ्री डी सो यू कैन यूज दिस फार्मूला ए इक्वल टू ए नॉट वन प्लस पाई इंटू ई इंटू एसपेड रेशियो दिस मीन्स ए नॉट सो पाई विल बी हेयर एंड ए नॉट विल बी दर सो ए इक्वल टू ए नॉट वन प्लस ए नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई पाई इंटू ई इंटू एसपेड रेशियो ए नॉट इज द लिफ्ट कर स्लोप ऑफ द एयर फॉयल ए इज द लिफ्ट कर स्लोप ऑफ द विंग तो यू कैन राइट सी एल एल्फा विंग so with the given information the wing is given rectangular so you can find the aspect ratio b by c aspect ratio is b by c bar so 10 by 1 will be the 10 given that elliptical list distribution so e will be the 1 e will be the 1 and it is given that the lift curve slope of the air foil is 0.1 per degree so when you are calculating each and everything you have to calculate first convert into the radian so because this pi is given pi will be the inner radian so means in each and every foil if you put the value means you have to convert into the radian so cl alpha is air foil is given 0.11 पर डिग्री देन इफ यू कन्वर्ट इन टू रेडियन इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन वन एट्टी बाई पाई यू विल गेट इन पर रेडियन सो दिस विल बी द कम्स आउट फाइव पॉइंट सेवन टू नाइन फाइव वन प्लस फाइव पॉइंट सेवन टू नाइन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई पाई बिकॉज हेयर यू विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर फोर समथिंग इट इज रेडियन बेसिकली वन इंटू टेन एसपेड रेशियो इज टेन सो यू विल गेट सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द विंग इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट फोर फाइव सेवन पर पर रेडियन दिस इज फर्स्ट वी कैन राइट डायरेक्टली इन टू पर रेडियन देन इन सिस्टम वी विल कन्वर्ट द पर डिग्री so 4.84 574 per radian multiply by pi by 180 you will get 0.08457 per degree so you can see that earlier your lift curve slope was 0.1 and now it is decrease so when you increase the effect when you increase the aspect ratio or if you decrease the aspect ratio then what will be the effect of the lift curve slope you can see from this answer that's why sir asked me to design in this type of question so so if the aspect ratio is if you put infinity then this will become zero and your lift curve slope of the wing and lift curve slope of the airfoil will be the same so when the aspect ratio is infinite means your wing lift curve slope and wing airfoil lift curve slope will be the same so for as infinite aspect ratio it is called airfoil and when you have some finite value then it will be less than that airfoil so you can see this so in the ninth question uh, the drag polar is given and you have to find the drag coefficient and maximum l by d ratio so the drag is c 
सी डी नॉट प्लस के सी एल स्क्वायर इज गिवेन द वैल्यू ऑफ सी डी नॉट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सी एल स्क्वायर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द ब्रेक कॉप्शन एट मैक्सिमम एल बाई डी सो बेसिकली यू आर maximizing the cl so if you have one equations then if you want to find the maximum and minimum value you can easily find you have to find the cl by cd max na this means if you reverse this cd by cl it will become minimum so you can divide this equation by cl so cd by cl equal to cd not by cl or plus kcl this is your one function let's call this x so x is your C cd by cl so you want to maximize the cl by cd this means if you reverse this cd by cl it will become minimum so c you can write capital x equal to cd not by cl or plus kcl so if you want to If you want to get the value of maximum and minimum value, you have to take the first derivative of this and equate it to zero. With the second derivative, if it is coming negative, means function is maximum, and if it is positive, second derivative is positive, then function is minimum. So, based on that, you can check. So, if you differentiate this with respect to the CL, so d x by d CL. Will be minus C D naught by C L square plus K. One by x differentiation is minus one by x square. This we have written. You have to equate this thing to the zero. Then you will get C L is under root C D naught by K. So if you take the second derivative, this will become the positive. The so positive means minimum. For any value of C L and C D, it will be the minimum. So second derivative is minimum means C D by C L is minimum. So C D by C L is minimum means L by D is maximum. So this is C L equal to under root C D not by K. If you put this C L equal to here, you will get C D. C D equal to two C D not. so you will get the relation cl equal to under root cd not by k and cd equal to 2 cd not so the value is given cd not it is 0.016 if you multiply it twice you will get cd so cd will be 0.032 this will be the your answer this is the answer of ninth question and uh, in tenth question you have to find the value of cl so you know the cd not under root 0.03 0.016 and k is 0.03 you will get 0.73 0296 so that cl will come out to be 0.730296 that will be the answer of your 10th question and ninth question you have to find the value of cd which is 2 cd not which is 0.032 that is the all about assignment 3 so last we will discuss about the assignment 4 So in assignment fourth, the data is given for the UAV, and some additional information is also given. So first we have to go through the information which is given. For any UAV, the wing is rectangular shape. In addition, following data is applicable. The weight of the aircraft is 250 kg and cruise speed is 35 meter per second. And CL alpha is 0.1 per degree. 
सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द यू एज जीरो पॉइंट वन वन पर डिग्री एंड एल्फा एट लिफ्ट इक्वल जीरो इज माइनस टू डिग्री सी बार इज पॉइंट एट एंड बी इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सो इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द जीरो लिफ्ट क्वेश्चन एट जीरो डिग्री ट्रिम एंगल ऑफ अटैक ऑफ यू ए वी सो यू हैव टू नोटिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट द टू लिफ्ट कर स्लोप इज गिवेन वन इज गिवेन फॉर द सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द विंग एंड सेकेंड वन इज गिवेन फॉर द सी एल सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द यू ए वी सो यू कैन सी दैट द सी एल सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द यू ए वी इज ग्रेटर दैन सी एल एल्फा ऑफ द विंग सो हाउ दिस इज कमिंग सर्वे स्पेन यू द मेन यू गो फॉर द टेल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल गेट दैट कि ओके लिफ्ट कर स्लोप ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट इज ग्रेटर दैन द लिफ्ट कर स्लोप ऑफ द विंग लो सर विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दिस सो द इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन वेट टू फिफ्टी के जी वी क्रूस इज थर्टी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड सी एल एल्फा ऑफ यू ए वी इज गिवेन जीरो पॉइंट वन वन पर डिग्री एंड एल्फा वेन लिफ्ट इक्वल टू जीरो इज माइनस टू डिग्री हेयर द लिफ्ट लिफ्ट एल्फा एड लिफ्ट इक्वल टू जीरो इज सेम फॉर एल्फा एल विंग एंड एयरक्राफ्ट सो इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन विद दिस गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन फर्स्ट यू कैन फाइंड द सी एल टीम सो वॉट विल बी द सी एल टीम यू कैन जस्ट इक्वेट लिफ्ट इक्वल टू वेट इक्वल टू हाफ रो वी स्क्वायर एस इन टू सी एल ट्रीम सी एल ट्रीम विल बी टू डब्ल्यू टू इंटू टू फिफ्टी इट इज इन के जी यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू न्यूटन डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट टू टू फाइव सी लेवल डेंसिटी एंड विलासिटी स्क्वायर थर्टी फाइव का स्क्वायर एंड बी इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इन टू सी इट विल गिव अस area because the wing is given rectangular so the cl trim will come out 0.425 that will be the cl trim so in first question you have to find the lift coefficient at 0 degree trim angle of attack of uav so you can use these things use this relation cl equal to cl alpha alpha minus alpha lift equal to zero so first question is about the uav so here you can you have to use the lift curve slope of uav so 0.11. This is zero because you have to find at zero degree trim angle of attack. This is minus two. So if you multiply these things, you will get 0.22. CL we have found this will use in for other question, but this is a straight forward. Or you can call it as a CL not. because you are finding cl at 0 degree angle of attack you can find cl not similarly for second question you have to find the cl at 0 degree trim angle of attack for wing if it is asked for wing then uh, you have to use the lift curve slope of the wing so use use the same equation which we use here cl alpha alpha minus alpha lift equal to zero okay so this thing you have to find cl not because you have to put zero here that's why we are putting zero here minus minus 2 0.1 because already we uh, we told you that ki okay lift curve slope of alpha and lift equal to zero is same for uavn wing so this will comes point 2 can also say that ki cl not of the 
UAV is greater than CL0 of the wing alone. So, if you combine this wing and uh, this, this, if you if you talk about the whole aircraft, then this CL trim is based on the UAV data. This means CL trim is the whole aircraft. This is CL. This CL trim is not for the wing. This is CL trim is the for whole aircraft. So, what will be the at at what trim angle of attack UAV is flying actually? You can calculate in third question that we have asked. So, in third question, again use the same relation. CL trim, CL trim equal to CL alpha, alpha minus alpha lift equal to 0. You can notice that in first two question we have asked the CL naught by putting alpha equal to 0 for both the case for wing alone and with complete UAV. But in this question we have asked to find the value of trim angle of attack at this condition. So, actually to achieve this speed what will be the trim angle you have to maintain. So, using this data and these things which is comes out using this data you can find the alpha trim. So, if you are putting CL trim you have to put alpha trim. So, you can put CL trim value here. What is the value? 0 0.74, 0 0.7425. And you are talking about whole UAV. So, you can put the lift curve slope of the UAV 0 0.11. Alpha trim you have to find, and you know these things will be the minus 2. So, using this, alpha trim will be come out. approximately 4.75 degree. And in fourth question we have asked the find the value of CL trim. So, this is the answer of the fourth question. And in fifth question to maintain the same trim lift coefficient obtained in question 4 for UAV at 15 kilometer geopotential altitude, what will be the new cross velocity? So, basically, if you go the, if you, it is asked for the 5 kilometer, right? So, this means you are going above from the sea level. This means at that particular altitude, density will be the less than as compared to the sea level density. So, to maintain, uh, suppose that your density is decreasing. So, you know that ki lift equal to weight half rho v square s into C L. You cannot change s and this is automatically changing. So, weight you cannot change. So, somehow you have to be balance the same weight. So, your speed will be such that the product of v square and C L will be the such that the weight will be the you can maintain the same weight by arranging by changing this V. So, V automatically will change. If density will change and you are maintaining the same weight, this means the velocity will change. So, how this you can uh, check this using this equation. So, if you are not changing anything means you are not changing C L, you are not changing S, you are not changing W and you want to maintain uh, and you want to maintain the same weight, density will decrease. So, if you if you use the initial velocity 35 meter per second and if you calculate this thing, this will be not exactly, exactly equal to the weight. So, if you increase the velocity, this will take care part of the decrease in density. So, if you want to maintain the same lift at 5 kilometer, the velocity will increase. So, you can see by the using this weight we have put here half 
density you can use standard atmospheric relation you can find out it will be come out 0.7361 v you have to find at 5 km area is 5.5 into 0.8 and you have to multiply by the cl trim which comes out 0.7425 so this v at 5 km will be 45.1623 meter per second so you can see approximate 10 meter difference will be there if you fly the uav at sea level and uav at 5 km and if you want to maintain the same weight and uh, in six question the drag polar is given and you have to find the parasite drag coefficient so by seeing the equation itself you can directly say that ki this will be the parasite drag coefficient basically this is cd equal to what is given 0.012 in six question i am talking about 0.03 cl square right so this is basically parasite drag coefficient cd not and this is k and this is cl square this is lift dependent this is parasite drag coefficient this value so what will be the cd not cd not will be the 0.012 so during the flight this will change when you deploy the landing gear flap and this is a lift dependent things so if suppose that aircraft is flying in cd not is gain and suddenly you deploy the landing gear or cd not then uh, this value cd not will change and sir already explain you about that things so the, the six question was very straight forward you can by seeing that uh, question itself you can answer this and uh, you have to find the cl for the same maximum maximum condition so maximum l by d so cl you can find using under root cd not by k which we have derived earlier so this will be the 0.012 divided by 0.03 this will be come out 0.6324 this will be your answer not answer you have to find the value of trim angle of attack i think 7 right yes you have uh, you have to find the trim angle of attack or angle of attack at maximum range condition so you know that ki at maximum range condition l by d will be the maximum you do use same formula to get the cl so you got the cl and some other information is also given like alpha lift equal to 0 is also given minus 2.5 lift curve slope also given cl alpha is given 0.089 per degree so alpha lift equal to 0 cl alpha is given cl you have find out so you can use this relation cl is given cl alpha is given alpha lift equal to 0 given you have to find alpha then i can use same relation here so cl is comes 0.6324 right 0.6324 cl alpha is given 0.089 you have to find this value alpha and this is also given minus 2.5 so your alpha will be alpha or alpha trim will be 4. 
सिक्स जीरो सिक्स टू फोर डिग्री दिस विल बी दोर एंगल ऑफ अटैक ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट एंड यस एंड इन एट क्वेश्चन द सेम लिफ्ट कर स्लोप इज गिवेन सेम एल्फाइड लिफ्ट क्लूजियो इज गिवेन एंड द एंगल ऑफ अटैक एट मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन इन असाइनमेंट वी हैव मिस द वर्ल्ड मैक्सिमम वी हैव गिव द मैक्सिमम पावर कंडीशन बट इट इज मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन सो लाइक एट मिनिमम लाइक वेन इन द एल बाई डी इज मैक्सिमम मीन इज द मैक्सिमम रेज कंडीशन एंड फॉर द मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दैट कि हाउ टू ड्राइव द सी एल एंड सी डी फॉर द मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन देन यू कैन यूज और यू कैन यूज डायरेक्टली फार्मूला सो आई जस्ट आई एम गिविंग द हिंड दैट ओके दिस सी डी इक्वल टू सी डी नॉट यू कैन राइट जर्नलाइज फॉर्म दिस इज सी डी नॉट एंड दिस इज के सो सर लेडी अबाउट टोल्ड यू दैट कि सी एल थ्री बाई टू बाई सी डी इज अ मैक्सिम पावर कंडीशन मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन सो टू गेट तो सी एल थ्री बाई टू बाई सी डी इज ए मिनिमम पावर कंडीशन तो सी डी बाई सी एल थ्री बाई टू विल बी द मैक्सिमम पावर कंडीशन सो यू कैन री अरेंज दिस थिंग्स यू हैव टू पुट दिस थिंग इन डिनोमिनेटर सॉरी इन राइट हैंड साइड यू हैव टू मैनुपलेट दिस इक्वेशन लाइक दिस लाइक वी पुट दैट एल फॉर एल बाई डी वी डिवाइडेड दिस थिंग्स बाई सी एल एंड वी गॉट वन रेशियो हेयर सी डी बाई सी एल एंड वी एज्यूम दैट इज एक्स एंड वी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सी एल एंड वी गॉट दैट सी डी इक्वल टू टू सी डी नॉट एंड सो हेयर यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई बाई सी एल थ्री बाई टू एक्चुअली इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई सी एल बाई थ्री बाई टू प्लस के सी एल टू डिवाइडेड बाय सी एल थ्री बाई टू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस इक्वेट टू जीरो यू विल गेट सी एल इक्वल टू अंडर उड थ्री सी डी नॉट बाई के एंड सी एल इफ यू पुट दिस सी एल इन टू दिस इक्वेशन यू विल गेट सी डी इक्वल टू फोर सी डी नॉट सो This is the minimum power condition. So in question seven, you have to find the angle of attack, same angle of attack. So these things will change. C L will change because this comes using this comes out using under root C D naught by K and uh, For this question, the CL will be under root three, sorry, not by K. So you, in this equation itself, you can multiply under root three. You will get the CL, and use the same equations. CL will be the under root three, sorry, not by K. Means root three into this times. So this will be the one point zero nine five four. Equal to zero point zero eight nine alpha minus minus two point five. So your alpha will be nine point eight zero eight. You can see that the angle of attack at minimum power condition is more than the angle of attack at मिनिम मैक्सिमम रेंज कंडीशन सो इन नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन द ट्रू एयरक्राफ्ट स्पीड इज 50 मीटर पर सेकेंड एट मिनिमम ड्रैक कंडीशन एट एल्टीट्यूड वेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ एटमेटिक डेंसिटी डेंसिटी इज गिवन डायरेक्टली 0.364724 
if the weight of the aircraft is 7500 newton and lift to drag ratio of the aircraft is 13 and wing span of 13 and mean aerodynamic chord of 1 meter the efficient if span efficiency factor e you have to find so true speed i am writing vt 50 meter per second is given and uh, rho is directly given no need to calculate 0 0.36 Four seven two four kg per meter cube. W is also given seven five double zero newton. L by D is given lift to drag ratio thirteen. C bar is given one. B is given thirteen. So the wing is rectangular. So S will be the B into C bar. Use the lift equal to weight and find the value of CL. I will tell you wh why we have to go first CL. Half row square S into CL. Then this is 7500. 1 by 2. Density is given 0 0.36 47 24 50 square into 13 into 1 this will be the area and this will be the CL so CL will come out lift coefficient will be 1.265 this will be the CL what will be the CD CD will be the CL by 13. CL you got na? So you can 1.265 divided by 13. So you will get 0 0.097431. This is your value of CL and CD using this in given data. So at minimum drag condition, CD will be the 2 CD naught and CL will be the 3 CD naught by K. So you can find the value of CD naught. I will tell you why we are doing these things to find the span efficiency factor. So if you use CL equal to under root 3 CD naught by K and CD equal to 4 CD naught. You can put CD here, use this CD to find CD naught. Then your CD naught will be the 0 So you have to find the span efficiency factor at minimum drag condition. So at minimum drag condition this 3 will not be there and this 4 will not be there, it will be the 2. So I thought this is minimum power condition but is in question it is minimum drag condition. So minimum drag condition, this is the minimum drag condition, C L equal to 1 root 3 C to naught by K and C D equal to 2 C D naught. So this will be comes out C D not equal to this much. Okay. And you know that C D equal to C D not equal to K C L square. Square this equations, you will get this. Okay. What is K? K is 1 upon pi into into as per ratio. Right? And the CL is what? You can find the value of CL already now 1.265. 1.265 square as per ratio. As per ratio, this you can write as a B by C bar. Or uh, you can find the 13 by 1 will be the 10. 13 by 1 will be the 13. 
so 13 you can put directly pi you know cd not we have calculated that 0.0 486 cl square cl is given so you can take e this side and you will get e is 0.8050 so basically you have to think that ki where the e is coming so e if you think that ki where e is coming then you can get the k is 1 upon pi into e into aspect ratio where the k is coming k is coming in the cl equations then you have to find the cl that's why we have found that ki cl is 1.265 then cd is this point fine and use this you can get because in this equation cd not also is given is required to solve this to so cd we know cd not we know cd equal to 2 cd not to so cd also we have to find then you will get the cd not and uh, cl also we have to find to get the k so if you know the cl if you know the cd not you can square this equation this equation becomes cl cd not equal to kcl square put this cl using this the data which we got here and cd not using this and uh, put the aspect ratio value you will get the e value this is all about the assignments we have made some more problem some more realistic problem sir told me to make this type of problem problem so that you can feel the some more realistic problem so that we will discuss in the next class uh, next tutorial thank you